fellow children. So, in the previous class, we saw how Kiran has started her junk yard business and we also know what exactly the meaning of loan is, what is the meaning of interest is and which is the institutions or persons who gives money to us as loan and how Kiran also earns money by renting rickshaws and the way in which she buys the junks from the junk collectors based on her fixed rates. Now, in this class we will see how she is going to sell her collected junks from her junk shop to a different shops. Prior to going in detail to how Kiran did her selling business, we will do some of the mental mathematical activities. All problems are related to multiplication, observe them carefully. Now, first you need to guess what is their product or the multiplication product of each of those terms and then you multiply them and verify your guess number with the exact number. So, there are totally 8 problems displayed on the screen. The first one is 2 into 6, so it is single digit. So, 2 into 6 simple number it is it the answer is 12. The next one is 20 into 6. So, again 2 digit number multiplied by a single. So, 20 into 6 becomes 120. The third problem is 2 into 60. So, that means here I can have the numbers interchanged either 2 digit number or single digit number interchanging also the product I get is same. So, it is 2 into 60. So, if I multiply this also I get 120. The next problem is 3 into 42. So, my guess is I make the number nearest to the tens. So, 40 t nearest to the 10 is 40. So, 40 into 3 is 120. So, then 2 I need to add extra into that. So, therefore, my guess work would be it is more than 120. So, if I calculate it, it becomes 126. So, my guess work is very close to the exact answer. Similarly, if you go to the next one 4 into 80. So, it is if I make a guess because already it is close to the 10 numbers 80. So, 80 into 4 it gives me 320. Similarly, if I go to the next problem it is 4 into 81. So, if I look into the nearest 10 numbers 10 digit number it is 80 which we worked earlier. So, it is 320. Now, I have to add one more 4 into that. So, therefore, my answer becomes 324. Similarly, 9 into 25. So, 4 25 makes 100. So, 8 25 makes 200. So, it is 9. So, 1 25 extra. So, I have to add to that. So, it becomes 225. Similarly, 31 into 9. So, if you approximate 31 to 30. So, it becomes 30 into 9. It is 270. Then adding 1 9 extra into that. So, it becomes 279. So, it is in this way I can make my guess by approximating to the nearest tens or digits or to the hundreds and then go for exact mathematical calculation and verify how my guess is very close to the exact answers. Now, we will go into the Kiran's business activity. Now, Kiran is a smart lady, she is a lady of 21st century. So, she is, wants to sell her all collected junks in her junk yard to a bigger junk shops and she uses smartphone. So, she browses in the phone which shop purchases the junk at a higher rate and which is very close to her. So, to that shop she takes all her junks which are kept in her junkyard in a cart 
or in a vehicle and sells it to that shop. Now in this story, Kiran sells her junk to Dinu's junk shop. Now let us see what is the Dinu's junk shop's rate list. The rate list is displayed on your screen. Observe these rate list carefully. What is the categories of junks he is going to purchase and what is the rate at which he is going to buy each of these junks on a per kg basis. Have you observed Dinu's rate list very carefully? So, if Kiran sells her junk at Dinu's shop, will she going to make a profit? Compare Kiran rate list with Dinu's rate list and try to make your own judgment whether she is going to make a profit out by selling her junk at the Dinu shop or not. So, for instance, she has 32 kg iron, 4 kg brass, 152 kg newspaper, 63 kg plastics and she sells it all of them at Dinu shop. Okay. Now, how much Dinu will pay for 63 kg plastic? Now, observe the rate of Dinu's plastic per kg, it is rupees 12. So, how much is going to pay for 63 kg plastic is going to buy? You have learned to compute this by using a box method. Use the box method and compute the amount Dinu is going to pay for buying 63 kgs of plastic at the rate of 12 rupees. The 63 kg in the box method is split into 60, tens and 3 units, okay. tens and units in terms of the quantity and the rate per kg plastic is rupees 12. Again that is split into 10 and 2. So, if you cross multiply them unit place and tenth place by using all the 4 numbers, all the 4 boxes are occupied with the certain numbers. Now, 60 into 10, 3 into 10, 60 into 2, 2 into 3. So, I get a product of each of these boxes. So, in the first box I get 600, second box I obtain 30, third box I get 120, the fourth box I get 6. Now, what should I do? I need to add all these 4 boxes sum in an order and the total sum I get is rupees 756 rupees. So, this is the box method that you have learnt in class 3. So, you can use this approach or any other method of computing which you feel is more easier for you to understand and you can compute them. Now, we will go to the next problem. How much money Kiran will get if she sells 32 kg iron at the new shop? Now, compare the rate list. So, per kg it is rupees 14 and she is selling 32 kgs. So, therefore, so it is 32 into 14. If I compute this, I get the answer as 448 rupees. So, we will move on to the next question. How much Dinu pays for buying 152 kgs of newspaper from Kiran? So, per kg of newspaper Dinu pays rupees 6. So, for 152 kgs, so he has to pay is it more than 900 or less than 900? First make a guess and then compute it and verify your answer. So, here it is 152 kg into 6 gives me 912. So, therefore, it is more than 900. Similarly, how much Dinu pays for 4 kg of brass? So, for every kg of brass, he pays 180 rupees. So, therefore, for 4 kgs, 4 into 180, it is rupees 
twenty. So he pays seven hundred and twenty rupees for buying four kgs of brass from Kiran. Now like this, the Kiran sells all her junks which she has collected from the junk collector to a bigger shop of Dinos, and he pays a much higher rate than what she has been paying to junk collector. Now there are certain figures given here on the table. It is related to multiplication. Now first you need to make a guess, and then you calculate the exact answers. So there are eight problems given. So first make a guess, and you compute them, and verify that with your friends, or discuss that answer with your parents and teachers. Now when Kiran sells the junk. To the Dinu, Dinu also makes payment to Kiran. The money payment is done through currencies, or it is known as money. So these are the money. So imagine that Dinu gives Kiran certain amount of money to her for buying her junk. If this is the note she receives from Dinu shop. In totality, how much did he pay in total? So, can you make out here? There are hundred rupees. There are fifty rupees. There is twenty rupees, and also ten rupees. So, usually, when you sell or buy anything, it is done through money transaction only, and these are known as The currencies. Each country has got its own currencies, and it is called by its different names. So in India, these currencies are called as rupees, and they are not only in the form of printed notes; they are also in terms of coins. So even you have seen some coins at. In your home also, you have seen five rupees coin, two rupees coin, one rupee coin, ten rupees coin, and if you observe these notes and coins, you can also see which year this note was printed and when it was brought into circulations. So even these currencies will also tell us the history of how money transaction has been carried out in the country. So here is some of the activities given in your book, and the how Dinu has paid Kiran in terms of currencies and coins, and how much of those he has paid is it exact with the amount that she has supposed to receive from him? So you cannot blindly accept whatever somebody gives. So you need to verify the fixed amount, whatever has been declared, is it exact or not? By just counting them, by saying, have I received the exact number of currencies? And when I total it, is it totaling with the exact amount I am supposed to receive? On the screen, there are the denomination of the notes and the number of notes she has received. Is shown on the screen. Now calculate how much of each denomination notes Kiran has received, and add them and verify the total amount she is supposed to receive from Dinu shop and the kind of notes she received from Dinu are matching or not. So how do we do that? So we need to multiply them. Now for example. He has given hundred rupees note six, so there are six hundred rupees notes, three fifty rupees notes, and seven twenty rupees notes, six ten rupees note, eight five rupees note, and four one rupee coins. Okay, these are the denomination in which Kiran has received the money. Now see whether these denominations add up to her 
total amount that she is supposed to receive. So, I need to multiply the money amount of the each currency with the corresponding denominations and see total it up and see whether it is matching with her grand total or not. So, therefore, I need to multiply 100 into 6, it gives me 600, 50 into 3, it gives me 150, 20 into 7, it gives me 140, 10 into 6 gives me 60, 5 into 8 gives me 40, 1 into 4 gives me 4. So, when I add all these up, I will get more than 900 rupees. So, add them up and see what is the exact amount. Verify the amount she was supposed to receive and the amount she has received in terms of notes and coins are they matching or not. Now, we will see the second instance how Kiran has received the money in various denominations and the number of those denominations are shown in the picture. There are 500 rupee notes, 1 50 rupees note, 9 20 rupees note, 18 10 rupees note and there are 28 coins rupees 5. Now, what is the total amount? Calculate them now, 100 into 5 gives me 500, 50 into 1 gives me 50, 20 into 9 it gives me 180, so 10 into 18 gives me 180. Now, the last one is a coin 5 rupee coin which are 28 in numbers. Now, how do we do that? Can we split that in tens and unit place? Now, can I take it as 20 plus 8? So, if you do that, so if I take 20 into 5 gives me 100 and 5 into 8 gives me 40. If I add them, it totally it gives me 140. Now, if I add all the denomination currency and the coins that I have, it gives me the total amount that I have received in terms of money transactions that I have done with a shop. So, it is these kinds of selling and buying in terms of money helps us to do the business and this enables us to see how prosperously we are able to conduct a business in a competitive manner. Now, Kiran does not stop only by selling her junk at the Dinu's junk shop. She wanted to know how much transaction she does on a daily basis. Now, she wants to maintain an account of her own. Now, how does she do that? She does that by using her own diary. She writes her all day's business transactions in a diary. So, diary could be any of the notebook, any notebook we can consider and you can write the day on which you are done the business and you can list what you have done. So, you can also see on the screen at how Kiran is maintaining her diary. On the left side of the diary, she has written the money I got. So, that is by selling that, what is that she obtained by selling her junk at Dinu shop, what is that she got on that particular day. And before the money she got it, she had paid to the junk collectors also. So, therefore, on the right side, she has documented that as the money I paid. So, paid to the junk collector. So, she has paid here 841 rupees and the money she got it in terms of various currencies, she has documented and she has totaled up and she as per her diary, she has got 994 rupees. The money she paid is 
841. So, did she make a profit on this day? So, since 994 is more than 841, so therefore, she has made a profit. How much is the profit? How do I calculate that? So, I need to subtract a smaller number from the larger number. So, here larger number is 994 and the smaller number is 841. So, if I subtract 841 from 994, I get 153 rupees. So, this is the extra money she has earned. So, that extra money in business we call it as the profit. So, she keeps this tracking of her business in that particular diary every day. So, that if she reflects her diary, she can look at the progress she has made every day. The money she earned as profit every day, is it increasing or she earns the stable amount every day or she is incurring any losses. All this analysis she can do by writing and maintaining in a diary. Now, for activity for you to make an entry and to try to know how a transactional diaries entries are made. Now, here is the activity presented to you on the screen. Kiran has paid 919 rupees to junk collectors and she has sold all the junks at Dinu shop and these are the denomination she has received. And now, you make an entry in the Kiran's diary stating that what is the amount she has spent and what is the money she has earned. Is she making a profit in this situation or a loss? Compute the details given in this picture and then give your answers and discuss that with your parents and teachers. Till now, you learnt about how a Kiran, a single lady partnering with her mother-in-law itself based on her own will and confidence, she started a small business of her own which is junkyard business and through this small business, how she prospered in her business activity and improved the family as a whole. I hope Kiran's activity also inspires you. You also think of making your own independent business and prosper in your business entrepreneurship. So, by for doing all those activity, mathematics, knowledge of mathematics becomes very, very handy to you. So, you learn maths, it is a very easy and simpler one and it helps you for your own betterment of life. Hope you have enjoyed learning mathematics through this junk seller activity and trying to know how business modalities are carried out and how one can think of doing a business in different areas. Thank you.